In this video, we're going to discuss raising alerts in SCOM from anywhere you like with the power of webhooks in three minutes. So it all starts with Connection Center, which is our management pack you drop into SCOM, so it can push alerts to anywhere from ServiceNow, ShareWell, Slack Teams, and many others via webhooks, but can also raise alerts in SCOM from anywhere that can push via webhooks in the first place. And all of this is possible without writing a single line of code. So what we're going to demo today is how you raise alerts from webhooks. And for this demo, we're going to use Prometheus to push alerts into SCOM via webhooks into Connection Center, which will raise events and the events will be evaluated against a rule. That rule is going to raise an alert for every single event and it's going to therefore raise alerts. Let's have a look. So here we are in SCOM, we're looking at our UI which is in the administration pane and we have a connection here to Prometheus. This is actually a listener that we stood up in SCOM. If I modify the connection here, we'll go through what's possible to set here. So you give them a name, the listeners, this is the listener URL. You can configure them with SSL or not. In this case, I haven't, you can provide API keys or not. The first time you set this up, this is blank. When you set up the listener the first time, the second time round after you sent in a payload, you can use that payload to build out your alert template. So this is one I sent in earlier. And in my alert template, I've picked specific properties here. So I've picked on the alert name and the instance here to build my actual alert description from what's received via webhooks. You can also populate the SCOM alerts custom fields with properties from received webhooks. The config stored in a management pack. And if I were to hit finish, this would be stored in SCOM. I pushed a webhook up earlier after creating this connection. If I go to the monitoring tab and go to active alerts, I will see an example of this sort of alert that I will expect to receive. So here we go. This is my alert. You can see that the parameters have been replaced with the actual values from the webhook that was received. It's been raised against source Prometheus, which is the name of the connection. And the rule is the name of the alert itself, Prometheus alert. It's also possible to raise events from webhooks. And the basic building blocks are exactly the same. You push up webhooks into connection center, uh, into SCOM, and that the events are raised in SCOM against the correct object. You get a bit more granularity here. That's worth digging into, but I can't cover it in three minutes. And essentially, from those alerts, you can build whatever monitoring you want inside of SCOM to do whatever you want with those events. So you could create monitors that turn red and green based on the events that are received and open and close alerts accordingly. It's very powerful. I would encourage you to check it out. Everything you need is at cookdown.com forward slash connection dash center where you can take a trial, book a demo or ask us anything. There are also more product videos on the pages there. Thanks for watching this video.